sound K. Every year, Korean high school seniors take the college aptitude test, and this day is one of the most important days in Korea. We're counting down, and today is D minus. Hundred. The D minus hundred day is actually more nerve wracking than the actual D day. It is all about mind control now. For all of my international listeners who also have an important exam coming up, don't think about the little time you have left, and think that you still have time to study up and calm your nerves. So, what will be a great good luck gift? Welcome to Sound K. And I'm your DJ, Stephanie. Yes, welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ, Stephanie. Today it is Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, August fourth, two thousand fifteen. And the first song of Sound K was "Red Light" by FX. So I am going to start with a question. I'm going to repeat, and the question was, "What will be a great good luck?" Gift, or、uh, every country's, you know, it is very important to take the college entrance exam or bar exam. Doesn't really matter, but there's always a gift、uh, for a good luck, wishing for others for a good luck. So, can be your country's traditional item, or it can be another your personal thought, personal opinion of a good luck gift. So. Please let me know. And the question was once again: What will be a great good luck gift? So, for example, in Korea, we actually、uh, give a person who's taking a bar exam or the college entrance exam,、uh, we give taffy because with the、uh, it has a reason. And taffy is very sticky. You know the candy.、Uh, when, once you bite it, it's like it sticks to your, you know, teeth everywhere. It's very hard to get it off. And with the good result means stick to the dream college, something like that. It's a very Korean thing, but actually has a good meaning behind. So taffy, it's a very great gift for a high school senior who's going to take the college aptitude. Test. How about your country or your personal thought? Let me know. So I actually was checking the news about this college entrance test, and I saw the pictures of、uh, hmm, crowded people. Most of them are the parents of the students who's going to take the test, and they were praying, 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 and holding a ceremony at the temple. Or for wishing a best luck, it's a very important test in Korea, and a lot of seniors and high school students get stressed out.、Uh, and I was telling our listeners, it's a、uh, hundred days behind. It's a、uh, hundred days to go. It's a D minus hundred days until the D day, and、uh, a lot of students now. Are studying so hard. So whoever who's studying out there and tuning in, tuned in right now. Good luck. My best wish for everyone who's taking the exam. And、uh, you know, several of our listeners just took the exams. I know several of them, bar exam or college entrance exam. It doesn't really matter. Different ways to say. But what same is the students put a lot of effort. And with a great result, it can open a lot of doors in the future. So that is why you guys、um, study a lot. So good luck once more, and once more,、uh, make sure to send in your feedback message for the intro question that I gave you. Or、uh, any updates or your country's news that you want to share, please send them in. I would love to share with SK family. I'll be waiting for your message. All right, so we have Miguel. Hello, Miguel from Israel, saying hello, Stephanie. How you doing? 
、mm, reminds me of Joey from Friends. I love that sitcom. Anyways,、uh, I am doing fine. It's just、um, very busy. Yeah, I going crazy. I have to prepare a lot of thing because the comeback stage it's coming. Can you guys believe that time really flies? And、uh, from next week, I'll be on the stage, and I'm putting a lot of efforts too. I'm worried, but with our listener support, I'll be just fine. Thank you very much for asking. It's so hot here in Israel. I hate the summer. Oh, I'm sorry. Although there are some good sides, like summer vacation. LOL. <laughs> what do you think? What do you like about the summer and what you don't? Love you and your show. It always makes me feel better. Good. So first of all, you have two questions.、Uh, what do you like about the summer? I love summer because. Uh, it's better than winter. I don't really like winter, and、uh, summer. I have a great memory, especially when I was in the states. You know, going to like you said, vacation with family. Even that was a long time ago. I still have a great memories to reminisce. And、uh, what I don't like about it is Korea. It's very humid. It gets really stuffy, and、uh, it's easy. For people to have insomnia because it's so hot. At the same time, I don't really turn on AC because of my voice, and I don't want to get sick. So it's really stuffy and hot and humid, and you know it's very hard for me to sleep. But that's the only thing. But most of times I do enjoy summer. But thank you very much, Miguel. Hope you survive through the heat. And once more, everyone, make sure to send in your feedback message on our message board. It is our time to listen to the next track. This is "Dutch Pain" by A Pretty Brown, featuring Minos of Elephant. Come on! Quiz, quiz, quiz. Are you guys ready for tonight's daily quiz? And here is the question. So listen very carefully. This five-member boy group released their new song "Shadow" yesterday. The title song "Shadow" is a strong, masculine, powerful song that member Lito personally wrote, which made it one step more towards perfection. Last year, they debuted with song "Lost," and at the beginning of this year, they released their song "Hunjak Trace." I love that song. The members of the group are very global and can speak Chinese, English, and Japanese. They were also the Korean representative for the opening ceremony at the East Asian Cup in Wuhan, China, and they are now the rising stars of China. So, which five-member boy group is our star day topic this Thursday? Also, so who is this? Uh, uh, what is the name of this boy group? Number one, JJCC. Number two, M Black. Number three, Tunsar Legend. Once more, number one, JJCC. Number two, M Black. Number three, Legend. So now we'll accept only the answers written on our message board. So log on to our website www.adirangradio.com/soundk and leave us your answers. Of course, we'll announce the winners on our message board. So be sure to check that out. This time we do have two amazing signed CDs. It's the Holic Plus NCS signed CD. If you guys can see through the visual camera. It's in front of me with Suki, Choco, and Yang Yangyi. So once more, make sure to leave us your answers on our quiz and answer board. We have Severian from Tunisia saying hello, Anya. How are you? Very, very good. Thank you very much for asking. I really, really missed you. It's been a week since I didn't tune in because I was busy helping for my cousin's wedding. Oh. That's so nice, and I was so tired, which is understandable for the wedding. I can assume that you,、uh, and of course the people who is helping to get everything, it's gonna be a massive work, right? And、uh, I am glad that you were there. For your cousin, and thank you very much that you are back. I'm glad to hear that you are fine. 
and you guys had a great wedding day. So thank you very much for your feedback. I hope that you still remember me, of course, Sabrine.、Uh, happy Tuesday and fighting! Thank you very much. And we have Taha from Korea. Taha, 안녕하세요 Hello, DJ Stephanie. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday.、Uh, how was your day? Very good.、Uh, I had a、uh, practice. Uh, I have to, yes, of course, because next week is the D Day. I'm counting down my counting down my D Days too, and yeah,、uh, pretty much I am having a very busy day, but happy days. So thank you. The contest is over. Yay! It got over last Friday, wasn't it?、Uh, I had the time of my life. So happy it's over. I showed script for my aunt. And I put on much feeling into script. The main character, his life was traumatic and left him to pain. The ending of the screen was quite sad. My aunt started crying because the main character died, and she was very surprised to me. Not once she read my script. She said, "You are natural writer. I want to read that." I don't.、Uh, anyways, but you're saying you you don't think that you're a great writer. Oh come on! I think you're a great author, and I will try to study hard.、Uh, but I think this is the, the best way to start. Taha, yay! I am so glad to hear from you, and you are actually satisfied with your script and your aunt. Oh, she actually、um, cried from reading your story. That's incredible. You know. It that means you're very talented, you know, with your skills and、uh, with your story that you can make other people cry. I think that means something. Yeah, and Taha, I think you are very very talented author, and if I have a chance, I would love to read your story. Okay. Let me know. Anyways, everyone,、uh, please keep continues to、uh, send in your feedback messages plus hello message, or you can also participate for daily quiz answers. For now, we are going to take a music break. First song, I love this song. This is "If You" by Big Bang. Second song, "Kunse" Big Bird by Hugo. Amazing, amazing songs. Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Sound K, and I'm your DJ Stephanie. So, let's share some more messages. We have Vania from Indonesia saying, "Oni, cry, cry. I go. <laughs> School makes me so stressed out. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I am so stressed because my best friend at school changed." Because of the new friends, uh oh, and yeah, she said I, I changed too, but my uh, what other friends not, are not saying that. I think,、uh, so you mean other friends, other people, they don't really say that to you, but to your friend, who actually changed the behavior, she is saying to you that you changed, and yeah, I'm fighting with her. Oh no, don't fight, and uh. uh she, She sits in front of me in the class. Oh, that's worse. Uh, and it makes me so stressful. Venya, I'm sorry to hear that, but don't fight. I think fighting is not gonna lead to a、uh, legit to have a good result. I think,、um, I think you have to talk and let it out first, because. Friendship can be forever. It has to be forever. Me, I trust in friendship, and、uh, once you don't talk about things like the details, then it will be very hard for you two to actually go back to the good time. So make sure to relax, breathe, and why don't you go up to her first and talk to her? Okay, Venya, and I don't think you changed. That's for sure, and、uh, we have、uh, Hajiba from Morocco saying, "Oh, FX, hello Stephanie, thank you so much for putting FX red light." Yes, of course, and、uh, we have Smarwia. Hello, Smarwia from Singapore saying, "Hello, DJ Stephanie, how are you? Very good, Smarwia, how are you doing?" I hope you are doing fine. Have a nice day. Thank you very much for your greeting message. I really appreciate that. And Abla from Morocco saying, "Happy Wednesday, Stephanie Ani. How are you doing today? Very good. 
Did you attend the birthday party yesterday of Chang Geng Seok? Have an awesome day. Ah,、uh, yes, of course, because、uh, um he he was inviting a good friends and most of people in the crowd I knew them. Her、uh, his mother, which I'm very close with too, ah、uh, she was there, and、uh, but I left because of today's schedule. I stayed there for ten minutes, and he was. So mad at me today. Well, I couldn't do anything. I had to wake up at what? I have to wake up at seven o'clock today, and、uh, after the live show, when I arrived there, it was eleven o'clock. So I just couldn't do anything about that. And、um, yeah, he was saying. It's not fair that you left within ten minutes. Why even you were there? And I'm like, because of to you know to see your face and try to hide. You know, I tried to ignore the replies, but he was pretty mad for sure. Anyways, ah、uh, yes. So to answer your question, yes, I attend. Did but the thing was I left. For, I would stay there for ten minutes. Anyways, we have Tom from Poland saying hello, everyone. So here's the thing. Well, I don't know for college entrance exam, but for the maturity exam, maturity exam, what is that? We used to wear and take with us the red items. Oh, and those are supposed to bring luck. Ah、uh、ha! -huh. Tom, thank you very much. And Claudia from Chile saying,、uh, when I took my college entrance exam, which is called P. S U,、uh, my mom gave me a really nice pencil and eraser, plus a little chocolate to eat during the test. He <laughs> he. And P S O M G, cheetah. Yes, cheetah is going to be here visiting us,、uh, which is、uh, next week. And we have D B Squad ninety one from Romania saying,、uh, we don't have a special thing to give when you wish someone good luck, although. I think that Romania has a lot of traditions. There isn't something special in this、uh, situation. You just wish that person's good luck and say, "May God help you," or "I will pray for you." So with the words, I think that's a nice gift too. So that counts. Simeon Awana from Romania, thank you very much for your feedback message. Okay, everyone, now we are going to take a short music break and we'll continue. This is Nikki Miwa. I have a feeling by Monkeys. Welcome. It's time for Sound K. Yeah. Good, Stephanie. Take it over. It is Tuesday. That means that we are going to have Tell Me, Tell Me Season Two with Big Shot and Leah in our studio、uh, to give you advice on anything and everything from schoolwork to love. So, if you guys have any concerns and worries that you guys want to let it out, talk about it. We are here to support our listeners. Make sure to send in your message. And for on August sixth, four star date,、uh, which is on Thursday, we are going to invite Chunsar Legend in our studio. So please support Legend with your messages plus the questions on our message board. And if you guys checked the admin part, which is announcement. Part on our message board, we let our listener to create your own song express. So make sure to double check, and we do have two four Ks signed CD for one lucky winner. And for the further details, make sure to check the announcement. Part on our message board, but、uh, this、uh, upcoming Wednesday Song Express, which is tomorrow with Corey,、uh, where we ask you to send in your song request to continue the relay. And then on Sundays, we let you, our listeners, become the DJ of the night with my playlist. So please leave us one topic with three different song choices that you like to share with SK family, and give us the explanation or the reason why you pick all those three different songs. Each of them, okay. And for a special announcement, Adidas Radio's twelfth anniversary K-pop concert is gonna be on August twenty-first,、uh, which is on Friday. 
at 7 p.m. at Jeju Art Center in Jeju-do Island. We do have amazing guests. We have Sebra Kamagi, T.L. Crow, and Siyunji, Park Si-hwan, Mings, Hotshot, and Puhar. For ticket distribution from August 5th, you can purchase uh, from Jeju Arirang Radio, Jeju Venture Model Building, 8th floor, or Seoul Arirang Tower, 8th floor. Floor. Ticket distribution can be done up to two tickets per person. Ticket holders will be seated on first come first serve basis. And let's move on to this or that. You know, I am always curious about our listeners. So through this or that question, I will get to know you little by little. Here are the two options. Let me know which one you choose. And tonight to this or that question is... Uh, who's more attractive? Number one. Mm, option one, that's better. Person who can swim. Option two, person who can ski. Let me know. Can be very seasonal thing, but who's more attractive for you, to you? Uh, option one was person who can swim. Two, person who can ski. Let me know. Make sure to send in your this or that feedback message on our message board. It can be male or female. So all the male listeners, you guys can send in your feedback as well as female listeners. I'll be waiting for it. And we have Asia96 from Bulgaria saying, Hello, hello, my beautiful DJ Stephanie and my amazing SK family. Hello. Happy super hot melting. A Tuesday from Bulgaria. So our listeners are getting better with the adjectives. Maybe because of Kikim. Because Kikim always want me to add some adjective before I introduce his name. Anyways, how was your day, sweet Ani? Very good. Thank you very much for asking. Our listeners are so supportive. My day was really busy, even though it is only 2 p.m. here. I went to the city, and which is my anniversary, and uh, where I will live. <laughs> and it is so beautiful. I'm so excited for you. I love it. OMG. Only that feeling when you made your parents proud of you is the best. Yes. Uh, and yesterday I talked with my brother. With uh, We will be able to see each other only for three or four days. He's getting back from the USA on 7th of September, which is very soon next uh, month. And I am leaving for the anniversary on 11th. Oh! And it will be strange in the beginning to be away from my home, but kind of super exciting as well. Your little sister is go uh, growing up, I know, and you are going to become a dentist. Uh huh. Uh, little, uh, excuse me, about the intro. Intro is just my style, hee <laughs> hee. Actually, in Bulgaria, there is a tradition kind of thing. Before leaving the house on your exam day, the one of your parents to pour water before leaving uh, so you will be like water going through hard situations fast and uh, without stopping uh, going only forward amazing meaning uh, behind that and have an amazing tuesday everybody take care and smile more smile ozzy your little sister thank you very much that was amazing uh we actually don't really have time but i'm going to share one more we have not a luna fly from malaysia saying Happy Tuesday. And when I heard today's topic, the first thing comes to my mind was Asia. I just read the Asia's message. First of all, I would like to congratulate my dear Asia for her successful entrance to her dream university and she will be going to study dentistry. Yes, hooray! I am really happy for her. Good luck to all those who are preparing exam fighting. Na and Luna Fly from Malaysia. You guys definitely have amazingly big, 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 biggest heart. Thank you very much once more. And now we have to take a music break. This is Baby Don't Play by Wonder Girls. Yes, everyone, that was Chaba Joe, Hold Me Tight by BTS. So we are going to share some more messages, feedbacks. Uh, and if I uh, don't or can't read your message because of time, I would definitely share that during the weekend. So don't be too sad about that. First of all, Salma from Morocco saying, uh, well, my parents' prayers and their work, hard work they do for me are my luck. So you're talking about the intro feedback. And however, in my country, we don't give each other uh, luck gifts. 
but there are some that does. And if I ever I will give a luck gift, I think it should be something that that person like and wants. Hmm, Salma, very thoughtful. Thank you very much. And we have Gisela from Indonesia. Intro feedback. I usually. Pray for them and say them good luck. That's the biggest gift.、Uh, sometimes I also give them milk. There's no meaning of milk, but I just think that they need something sweet,、uh, like flavored milk. Hmm, maybe chocolate.、Hmm. Anyways, we have Joshua Montal from Netherlands saying hello. Have a great Tuesday, DJ Stephanie. I have to do some work, but I am listening to you in the background. Ooh, so I'm a background music. So my voice is background music. Thank you, Joshua,、uh, from Netherlands, and we have.、Uh, let's see, let's see.、Uh, and Gisela and Salma once more saying, "If you, it's an amazing song." Yes,、um, that really, personally, I really love Big Bang's most of the song. But if you, that's that's different. I don't know. I really like it. Anyways, and we have Tom from Poland saying, "Oh, the maturity exam that I was asking. So we take it at the end of high school." And so it's an exam from from the entire school education. So I cannot really call it a college entrance exam, even though points received from it along with the final marks are、uh, one's way to get to the university and college. That's what I'm talking about.、It's、same thing. It's a, a adopt、uh, adopt. Wait a minute. It is、uh, the college entrance exam that we、uh, say that, but there's another way,、uh, words to put. So I think in your country in Poland, you guys say maturity exam, and in、uh, Korea we call it、uh, aptitude test or the college entrance test. But thank you very much, Tom, for the feedback. It's a great info for me to know. And、uh, let's move on to this or that. Salma once more saying, "The one who is more attractive is a person who can swim." Cause first of all, I am not that interested in skiing.、Uh -huh. While I prefer swimming, so I found find men's men who swim really、uh, attractive. So men who can swim. Nat and Luna fly from Malaysia saying, "Wow, no doubt, person who can swim for sure. You know the reason, right?" Really? I don't know. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Anyways,、uh, we have Christina from Philippines saying, "Option one, a person who can swim. Hmm, especially a guy who knows how to do butterfly stroke with two hands. <laughs> Love that. Yes,、uh, that's really attractive." And we have Claudia from Chile saying, "I personally have a thing for swimmers, so you personally have a thing for swimmers, okay? <laughs> And I find more attractive those who can swim. Plus, I love back muscles.、Mm -hmm. And swimmers build them、mm -hmm. in an amazing way." Claudia, thank you very, very much for your feedback. Okay, so it is our time to wrap up the first part of the show. I have more this or that feedbacks. I will make sure to finish when I come back. On part two, the last song is a song request from Miguel from Israel, and I will see you guys on part two. This is "Desert" by Park Shihwan. Tell me, tell me too. Travel with friends, great jobs or love. Everyone has them. You're not alone, and this will be the time to let it all out. From the little troubles to the enormous ones, we're here to listen every week. It is tell me, tell me season two. Two, 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 two. Oh yeah. Okay. So first of all, we、uh, got. Uh, very early messages for you guys,、Ooh. so we are going to start、really? sharing this. We have a pop from Thailand.、Uh, do you guys remember that、uh, our listener who's、mm -hmm. having a stage fright、mm. and、uh, remember、yes. giving advice? Hello, hello, big shout out by Leoni. What's good, y'all? How are you guys doing? We are、awesome. good. I miss you guys so much. Also, I finally found a song for Mother's Day. Ooh, what what is it? it? And I got to sing another for the twenty. Eighth for my school's music on、Ooh. Friday, I will be singing "Colors of the Wind" from Pocahontas. Ooh, I can see the colors. 
Well, was that was the wrong song. <laughs> <laughs> I know the song, but it came out weird. I'm Wait just, a minute, how does that? You go? can do way better than me. I believe in you. Well, you were singing a totally different song, though. Yeah, I've, I, it's in my head. I can't spe- spit it out. I'm not a singer. It's Wait tall. a minute, how does it go? Uh, I don't even Co- remember. Co- 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 what <laughs> color are you doing? Colors. <laughs> Mm. I don't know. Leah, this just, is why I'm not a you singer. You just rap, okay? Yeah. Don't, don't, don't. I got don't colors sing. of the wind. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not it. That's not it. Uh, but I, I forgot about that. What Pocahontas? That, that was my uh, one of my favorite, mm. and in particular that uh, cartoon character mm. oh. because she was so charming. Mm. And uh, the most of uh, what is that? River Band. Uh-huh. I love that song. No, 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 River Band. I love that song. So uh, he has no idea what we are talking <laughs> well, about. I don't know. Keep talking. It's all good. I like Mulan. Yeah. Mulan. Oh. I love Mulan. That song where she's I love your man. No, 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 no. I love Mushu. Oh, Mushu. Mushu, 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 Mushu. Yes. And the reflection. Keep talking. It's all good. I don't, reflection, know. I don't understand. It's okay. <laughs> which was the same by um, also Christina, Christina Aguilera. Yes. Which was amazing. Oh, I like Casper. Okay, that's no, no. really. I like Casper. <laughs> oh my goodness, let's move on. What's and, wrong with Casper? Uh, Pop, good luck, and it's just amazing to hear. And uh, good luck, that would be yeah, so much good fun. Luck, Got y'all. it, yeah. And we have Salma from Morocco saying hello. What's good, y'all? Uh, big, bro- uh, big brother, big brother, what's good, <laughs> big brother? <laughs> no, no. Big shot, and Leah, how are you? Hi, Salma. They just changed my name, so <laughs> Leah called me Carlos, and she just called me big brother the big brother the big brother actually is uh um who is that the producer of Chang oh, and really? i saw him yesterday uh, and then i was a kid okay. c- calling him bro- big brother big brother and it's in my mouth anyways uh, hope you guys are doing well and i really missed you it's been a week since i listened to you guys i feel so it's, it feels so long but i am here again so yeah. welcome back Hello. okay so we have to move on mm-hmm and we do have a message from Nat and Luna Fly. I'm going to start tonight All right. from Malaysia. So hello, wow, it's been uh, it's uh, it has been season two. Yeah, he he. Uh, actually, I have a problem <laughs> that keep messed up my mind these days. Currently, I have to wait for government hospital to take up at us to practice in the hospital mm. setting. Mm. However, this posting may take up a long time. So meanwhile, I could either work as a, a, pr- a primary t- school teacher or retail pharmacy assistant mm, i chose the primary school teacher job which at first i think it will be satisfied with this job but recently i am so disappointed with this job simply i gain no respect from other teachers mm. should i continue or choose the other job which is closer to my own pharmacy profession mm. by the way i am a pharmacy graduate mm. and how to wait between the jobs if salary is not the concern in this case so if you have two options I, we are gl- glad first of all to hear that she has an option yes yeah and but uh, she actually put a lot of effort mm-hmm. and she got uh, the test and everything is over Which the is pharmacy graduate no. so hard I know memorizing a lot of stuff mm-hmm. but she is ready to go but okay. she actually uh, challenged herself to become a prime uh mary school teacher but mm. she's disappointed if she can change the job mm. if she can try to another shot right mm-hmm. what can she do i mean if you're a pharmacy graduate and uh you can choose your own pharmacy profession i would rather recommend that to go there because i mean if the salary is not not of the concern mm-hmm. like like it is said right now I mean, do what you have learned before, you'll be better doing it later. You know what I mean? Like, Mm. I mean, teaching job is not bad, but you're saying that you're not getting any respect and you might be frustrated because of that. So I would say if you go and choose your own graduate, like you're you're from pharmacy profession, so Uh you will gain Mm. respect, plus you will enjoy more your your work, I think, Mm -hmm. because you know what you're really doing. Maybe... Leah, stop playing with your hair. Sorry. <laughs> 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 like, maybe. maybe um, 
<laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe they chose the teaching job because mm-hmm. they they had an option in the beginning, but they chose a teaching job. Okay. So I'm guessing it's because they didn't want to do the pharmacy thing right away. They wanted to try something new. Mm, okay. So maybe I think the issue here is even though they have the the what do you call it the credits mm-hmm. to work in a pharmaceutical area, mm-hmm. they don't want to do that. Okay. I think. So what if they like, change schools? Isn't that Oh, uh, to a other go to other primary go to school. another primary school mm. because this is what she er, wanted to do. Okay, but the only reason not not being satisfied with the job is because of the other people, you okay. know, judging mm. Mm. or disrespectful. Right. True. That, okay. that could be a good option. Yeah. So, do you guys have anyone mm-hmm. beside you mm-hmm. who went through this kind of uh, situation or who actually was a primary teacher? Hmm. Big shot's a college teacher. I know. Oh, yeah. But I... college, it, it, it's very different. Mm-hmm. He's a professor. Mm-hmm. And primary teacher, yeah, it's have, way to, harder. Yeah, you have to deal mm-hmm. with little kids. That's, right. that's a whole different story. Yes. You know what I mean? Like... And actually, Acoustic, mm-hmm. uh, he, on Hip Hop Battle, he's, mm-hmm. a, he's a preschool teacher. Oh, really? Wow. He's been doing that for five years. Wow. He's very wow. good with the uh, kids. And I can see why, because he's a very calm person. Mm. Mm. And yeah, now I can't do it then. <laughs> <laughs> very calm every time. Right. So whenever he actually teaches rap too, but most mm. of the time he teaches uh, English. Mm. But uh, you know her, his personality is uh, everything. It's kind of relaxed. Okay. Mm. Or maybe that's why he released the album "Relax and Chill." That was his title song. <laughs> yeah. uh, maybe that's why. And you need a lot of discipline uh-huh. uh, with a new. Uh, to be able to handle all those kids. Right. True, true. And another case, my one of my best friend, mm-hmm. she's a pianist, mm-hmm. and she's my age. Okay. Her personality, she's everywhere. Oh, she pretty. She. <laughs> Oh I'm, my sorry. Goodness. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh Just my kidding. goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right now she's on a vacation with her boyfriend. I'm sorry about Ooh. that. Oh, 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 Bird. But, <laughs> but um she's very bubbly. Mm. So she thought and most of people thought that she would be so close to the kids. Turns out after a month or two, she quit the job. Oh, because wow. they need someone who really can be like uh, be more calmer than their mother. Right. Oh. Remember, uh, keep in your mind, Nat and Luna Fly, this is my tip because my friend was talking about this. M- a lot of mothers, when they raise the kids, it doesn't really matter if the, the, the children or kid, only child, the siblings, doesn't really matter. Right. Okay. Sometimes the mother cannot handle mm. their own True. kids. So True. it's very stressful. Yeah. And once they send to preschool or, you know, the kindergarten or primary school, whatever, the teachers in that pri- uh, preschool, they have to handle several of right. the kids. Wow. And think about that. It's not easy. Mm. Oh, definitely it's not easy. Like, yeah, I, I wouldn't I, be I able to do yeah, it. Me, they're like, mm-hmm. oh, what? what are you doing? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. That's a red flag. So, <laughs> I do understand how hard that is. And, um, as a teacher, she was uh, saying something about, uh, well, we're not saying anything, nothing is bad right. about having this job, mm. but I kind of get it because other teachers, they try to get more attention from the kids. Oh. Oh. So there's a little competition, mm. competitive things mm. uh, going on, but uh, I think not a Luna Fly, you, you have to play a little bit smart, like mm. it's or you have to be a little bit smarter than other teachers. Right. And she's a smart girl. Mm. And she's our lawyer listener. Mm. And I am sure that she can do it. True, true. I think she just needs to figure out what she wants to do. Mm-hmm. And after, mm. she has time. That's right. why she's trying to figure out what should I do before, mm. uh, because she actually worked as a uh, in the hospital too. Ah. Clock shift. So... Mm. Uh, before read the first sentence, you know, before the government hospital to take the us True. to practice in a hospital True. setting. Mm. I have a little bit of time, mm. so within the time I want to, you know, have this job. So which one? I do? If there's another option, do you guys think she should try mm. or give but, it another shot? But like I think it's the last sentence says like how to wait, you know, between the jobs. So mm-hmm. she's like 
like balancing like which one she make a to pros write. and cons list yeah oh that's a good stuff right mm-hmm. there yeah pros and cons but other if you don't experience the other job you cannot really come up with the pros uh, and cons right that's true that's, that's true, true. You, but if maybe indirectly if you know somebody at that profession mm-hmm. maybe have a, a talk with them and mm-hmm. kind of like experience a little bit indirectly how it is really actually how it flows mm-hmm. and maybe if you think still you like teaching job i guess you should just do it because it's mm-hmm. not gonna be easy to pharmacist yeah pharmacy yeah. Uh, profession that's not gonna be easy too and yeah. much more it's it will be very competitive, competitive. True, true. and there's so many people that graduate from a major and true. do something completely different, different. like me I yes, graduated like business. I'm doing music. <laughs> it's totally different. Mm-hmm. So I don't think that should be like a uh, issue when thinking about oh, but I'm a farm or you know that's my major, but I'm mm. doing something completely different. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's some a factor that she should worry about. Okay, so uh, Nana and Luna Fai, why don't you ask or if there's a people around you mm-hmm. that you can actually hear the realistic advice. Uh, who is, you know, uh, the pro- for profession of a pharmacy uh, industry, it will be very helpful for you to get the ideas. But for now, quitting, it's not the first option. Hmm. So uh, hopefully, hopefully, try harder a little bit. I'm sorry to say this, but um, I think she can do it. Try harder a mm. little bit you and give it another it. shot. And if this doesn't work, then... Um, you know, then maybe you can experience the other job, other which is uh, the what pharmacy yeah, mm-hmm. industry pharmacy related. Mm-hmm. Uh, but before jobs. that, gather up the information. I think gathering the information is very important before yes. you jump into you know this mm. what unknown unknown territory mm. exactly mm. industry. So hmm. uh, thank you very much for sharing that first of all, Natalie, and I think. Uh, Hopefully, if we can give a little bit more info, uh, that'll be better. But uh, there's no one who actually majored in the pharmacy. Yeah, like, really, like, pharmacy is too hard for me. Like, no, it's a way I, too hard. It takes, like, seven years of school, I think, really? from what I've heard. And wow. you have to take... Sometimes more than that. Yeah, and you have to take so many tests. Huh. And you can't be, get your license until you pass every single one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh-huh. So you're a smart girl. You can do it, Natalie. Yeah, yeah. And thank you very much for your message. So now, uh, I think this song can heal your scars uh, if you're hurt. It. And uh, we are going to hear the song and come back. This is Mom Heart by IU. Yes, welcome back everyone. You're listening to Sound K and I'm your DJ Stephanie. We are here with Big Shot and Leah in our studio for yeah, Tell yo. Me Tell Me Too. And uh, uh, we are going to share some message before we move on to Tell Me Tell Me message. Yes, Madison Rice from the state saying Big Shadow by and uh, Le- uh, Leah. Uh, hello guys, uh, how was your weekend? I hope what's it was good. Uh, so first of all, yes, weekend. Uh, what, what did you guys so, do? So, 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 me and Big Shot. <laughs> We met on a weekend. It you was, guys yeah. did? No, yeah. no, no, not date. Not no, like no, that. No, no, no. Excuse no. me. Please, can I finish um, my sentence? Do you think, do you think <laughs> I would do that? Uh, why not? Com- I know. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> wow. What was that all about? No, because he's so a big brother. Sorry, he's you know my... that? You're not my style either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I, my I, blood pressure is rising. <laughs> okay, everyone, I did not say anything. Whoa! Should I be away from this? No, 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 or you guys so, want to talk it? It's our, it. it's our mutual friend's birthday, mm. ah, so we went whatever, and we were in E T one, and Big Shot's uh, friend was outside uh-huh. uh, selling jewelry. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, is that illegal? I don't know. And I'm like, big shot. I'm like, I really want this bracelet. Can you buy it for me? He's like, no. I'm like, I was like, what? What have you ever done for me? <laughs> I was like, I hate you. <laughs> so he ended up buying me a ten dollar, ten dollar bracelet. No, are you serious? Yeah, I was like, think, but I felt that after. I didn't think he was gonna buy it for me. I was just oh messing goodness. around with him like so I always good. do. You know what? I can picture you two standing <laughs> and around Eton area, totally. It's like. You are not. <laughs> oh, my oh my goodness! So, so you guys uh, met each other. You guys just had dinner before you guys came into the studio. Oh, yes, yeah. you did. Don't do that. 
Yes. Hey, <sighs> yeah. Just saying, my style is different. I don't like you either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's enough. Anyways, but you guys met. Anyway, so, so you uh, definitely Big Shot and Leah had a great weekend. Yes. yes. <laughs> Period. Okay, finally. <laughs> and we have a pop from Thailand saying, the song I'm singing for Mother's Day uh, is called Not That Far Away by... Uh, Jeanette uh, McCurdy and Big Shadow by Don't Feel Left Out. I like Casper too. Oh, thank uh. you. See, see, huh? <laughs> High five. High yeah, five. Yeah. So I think she is uh, singing different songs for Mother's Day and uh, another oh. the and school the, uh-huh, oh, okay. uh huh mm. performance. But anyways, good luck. Good luck with you know that, what? The yo. funny thing is, as soon as uh, our listener mm-hmm. talking about uh, Pocket Hotness. Mm-hmm. OST. Our producer actually looked it up, and I can see. The, mm-hmm. I can see the the computer which is uh-huh. in front of me. Whenever our staff trying to figure out or you know search, uh-huh. there's a search engine and everything. Oh, really? and it, it has a colors of the <laughs> oh, okay. by Pocahontas. <laughs> you know, our staff is trying to you know understand. Well, they work so hard. Exactly. Yeah. Anyways, it is our time to move on. And the second tell me tell me message. Big shot, you're up. All right. Okay. It's from uh, Sarang Soul 09. Nuri Lee. Yeah, Nuri Lee from Qatar. Uh huh. Says, hello, DJ Stephanie and Big Shen and Leah. Hello. My problem is about a co worker. We used to be close, but a mis- misunderstanding took us apart. Mm. Mm. I actually wanted to talk to her about it, but she keeps avoiding me. I want us to talk to clear the misunderstanding, but how should I approach her? Can you please help me? Thanks. Mm. Okay. No. Mm. I don't. I don't like misunderstandings. Yeah, me too. They can cause a big rift. In like a right now, right? Oh, oh. <laughs> but come on, he bought you ten dollars. I, I was saying bracelet. thank you. I used to thank you. That's it. Yeah. Well, I said thank you. That's I it. I was so grateful. <laughs> no, I'm like it's all good. It's a small <sighs> gift from okay. a brother. So twenty dollars for me. <laughs> anyway, so. so um, someone who's trying to ignore right mm. and try to not figure out the situation. How? What can we do? Um, Write a letter. Yeah, oh, that's that was. Mm, that's I was I about to do. say first. Why you take? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. but I would write a letter because <laughs> even if you say like, "Hey, I." <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry. I don't see you. I don't see you writing a letter. I'm sorry, Leah. <laughs> what is this oh judgment? <laughs> oh my goodness! I everybody. I'm sorry, everybody. I I am a peaceful person. Yes, oh, yes, yes, you are. I. But that doesn't mean you write a letter, though. No, but honestly, I'm not good at talking to my feelings face to face. Oh, mm. okay. especially when it's misunderstanding, and I know this person's angry with me. Mm. But I'm like. I didn't do anything. They think I'm doing something. Yeah. So I'll I'll write a letter and be like, not a like type a letter. Does that make sense? A uh, handwritten letter. Oh, handwritten. Mm, of course. <laughs> 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 no, Try to figure out the stairs. Oh. No one's gonna mm. type. That's so <laughs> and meaningless. Explain, and explain the situation. Oh. That's oh, what I would how do. How you feel? Yes, this is how mm. I feel, and I think. I understand how you felt, but that's not what happened. And then, you know. And I think that's really easy to do Ooh. it because they're co-workers. They mean that you know where the person sits and work, right? Mm-hmm. You know their own locker. I don't know where, whatever. So just write a letter and just put it there. Okay, so mm. uh, we came up uh, with the result. Mm-hmm. It's not a conclusion, but it's a good idea to write a letter. Mm-hmm. But mm, the point is, Leah, you're saying how you feel. Do you think she this coworker will be interested in how she feels? Mm. She felt actually. I think at this time you should approach asking how she felt, mm. like saying, "I know you felt like this this way because of this, mm. so that's why I felt like this and this." Mm-hmm. So, and I think is the whole thing is a misunderstanding. So why don't we meet up and have a tea mm. or something? Like yeah. yeah. Mm. Okay, so how to start? Do you think you will go with apology or? I would go with mm, apology. Yeah, I think, I think yeah. some time has maybe, you know, gone from when this situation happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, you know, whether or not you think that, oh, like she started it or who started it, I don't think that really matters. If you want to keep the relationship, just apologize. True. Mm. Like start with, I am sorry this happened between mm. us. Yes. And, uh, but, uh, uh, 
Well, even I fully don't understand how you actually feel.、Mm. I do want to、talk、get things,、mm. uh huh, things back together and talk about it. Do you have time so we can actually sit down、yeah. and have a cup of、mm. coffee? It's all me or something like that, right?、Mm. Oh, actually, that was a nice letter. That was really good. Oh, 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 oh. yes. Do we have a clapping sound effect?、No? Oh, the clapping sound effect. We、oh. actually have it, but、uh, <laughs> <laughs> right now he's just clapping outside. No, like, but like really, but、uh, like I think apology is like the best weapon you can use because、mm. apology can actually open、uh, people's thought, and、yeah. um, you know that's nice way to approach. Yes, and、uh, apologizing. It's not losing. A lot no, of people、yeah. misunderstand this kind of stuff. But apology is, I think, it, you step forward, and、uh, you know, to be mature,、mm. apology is sometimes very necessary. And this is workplace. Yeah. So letter. Okay, that's number one.、Uh, how about another one?、Mm. But I think if that person is, keeps avoiding,、mm. I think there's not really a, a, another way to actually、uh, or email. But no, the famous letter, no, no, yeah, no, something no. like <laughs> email, like hi, I'm sitting next to you. We just talked about <laughs> we don't type for the apology letters. No, but she's avoiding. It's like, I'm sorry. She's avoiding. Can you be me? No. Okay. What if what if they write a letter and like, the pop and the girl and the girl's like. And throws it in the trash. The letter. Oh, oh, oh. Then what do you do? What do you do? I, I'll be、I'm、mad. Do do? No, I'll be mad if that happens. I'll be like, uh, uh. But she's so angry. She's like, I don't want to read this letter. Like, you know. Then I think there's. I'll、no、be, what would you do? What would I you do? I will probably pick up, you know, the letter from, from the trash, trash, trash <laughs> and I will read it out loud with a speakerphone,、oh. so the whole office can hear. Hello, 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 hello. Check, hello. check, check, check. 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 What do you want to do? I <laughs> am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Sometimes you kind of need to be bold about that.、Right. I will definitely do that. So once I. Need or if I want to apologize,、mm-hmm. I go all the way.、Mm-hmm. And you know what? If the person doesn't accept, don't accept that, it、uh, doesn't really have to be like right away. But if they don't,、uh, after all, if this、uh, person keep、uh, you know apologizing, then this person will another p- person will feel really bad,、mm-hmm. right. you know. And、uh, as a human being. I think everyone wants to work out, and everyone want everything to be fine, right? Yes. Because、yeah. you don't want any negative energy when、True. you work so stressful.、Right? And like, I mean, if the person is avoiding you like that, and like, I don't think I don't think it's gonna happen. But if really, like she said, like throw the letter away, whatever,、mm-hmm. that means not meant to be. You know what I mean? Like it means that person is is actually not. Want to be near you? Okay, so move on yeah, and kind of just, just chill. But if you try hard enough, like write a letter, whatever, try it, and she accepts it, then maybe things will be fine.、Okay. But、and、even I... though if you try hard and it doesn't work, I mean, it's not gonna work. How about getting a? F- Sorry, Leo, go ahead. Oh, I was just saying. I bet even if you know someone's emotions can get them, you know, turn them into someone else, and. Even if she rejects all the apologies, I bet once time passes, she'll be like, "Oh, you know, it wasn't such a big deal,"、mm. and she'll probably come and try to talk first. True. Because、mm. mm. I've had that happen, like in high school. Okay. Like my me and my best friend got in really, really huge argument. We didn't talk for like six months.、Ooh. Oh. I tried to say sorry, and she said, "Like, you know, it was just." Miss but, but, bad timing、right. for both of us.、Mm. But time will heal, also.、Mm. And then after, you know, she came up to me like six months later and was like, you know, I thought about it and I think it's so stupid what we were fighting about.、Mm-hmm. I was like, me too. And it just went back to normal. So、uh, yeah. So you need that one word,、yeah. and everything. Hopefully, everything is fine. Or my another thought is that you can get help from other、uh, person or people surround who、mm. knows this situation good,、mm-hmm. and probably the other coworkers will feel. Probably,、uh, mm. and feel this negative energy too.、Right. So why don't you also consider、uh, and keep in your mind that you can always get the help from other people too. True, true.、Mm-hmm, to make this situation better. Okay, so it is our time to take a short music break, and we'll be back. And this song, I think it's a great song to listen to right now. So this is "I'm Sorry" by New East. Yes, welcome back, everyone. But、uh, the last lyrics was. I'm sorry and goodbye. So, <laughs> if once, why don't you try? And then if this doesn't work, <laughs> say goodbye. goodbye. All right.
right. So it is our time to share the last message. Mm. And Leah, you are up. Yes, I am sorry if I say your name wrong, mm. but Nerdiana yeah, uh-huh. Amira from Malaysia. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hello, recently I'm getting stressed because there's a stalker. Mm-mm. I don't know if he likes me or anything, but I stress out because he keeps bothering me. Hmm. Sometimes he comes to my house, he keeps sending me threat letters, and I really, really feel afraid every time I go out of my house. Mm. There's once where he, where he sent me a death threat letter. Why? <gasps> Oh my gosh. If you want to call the cops... Oh, I want to tell the cops, but he actually is my classmate. Mm. So I just let it go. So wh- I never talked to him, so if you can help me, please tell me how to talk with him and ask him to tell me why he did this. Okay, so first of mm. all, let's talk about... Do you guys ha- Have you guys experienced stalking? I have a, Whatever. No, really, I have Whatever. <laughs> no, why no, no, nobody... No, no, no. Why no nobody... one's going to believe you. Uh, nah, nah, nah. C- come on. <laughs> what? C- c- come on, that was a remix. <laughs> Anyways, so big shot. No, you like, actually have. But it wasn't like a personal stalking. It was more like phone phone stalking. Oh. Like they used from whom? I don't know. Because after starting okay, call, how long ago was this? Like really long. Oh, you oh, really were, long. Uh, that was like okay. when I was like. Whoa. What? What are you about to say? <laughs> well, well, like you he's probably ha- different back then. Oh, <laughs> there's probably girls like. Mm, oh my god. Oh, big, I shot. big shot. <laughs> Anyway, so what happened, Big Shot? <laughs> Do I have to keep going on with this? Yes, of course. <laughs> you have to tell us what well, really happened in detail because <laughs> no one's going to trust you. Okay. <laughs> so this somebody, I don't know who, uh-huh. I don't know if he's a he or she, used to call me. And uh, when I pick up the phone, I used to like, you know, say hello, who's this, whatever. Would listen for like five, six seconds and just hang up. And this happened... Wrong number? No, no. <laughs> no. Every time they called, oh, wrong. man, I forgot I called him yesterday and he told me it was the wrong number. I forgot it. Save it. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm loving this program. Yes, of course. Okay. So, first time, first I thought it was a wrong number, right? Uh-huh. But the same number kept, kept calling, like, very frequently, oh. over, over 10 times. <laughs> so, that's why afterwards I blocked the number. Come on, like nobody believes that yeah, I can have a stalker. Do. No, I we do believe, believe you, but the way you say it's funny. Yeah. I know. <laughs> but ten times you actually were okay till ten. No, times? because it was like very like random, random calls. It was it wasn't mm. like everyday thing. It was like coming like once a week, and after the second week coming, and after three days coming like that. You know what I mean? So whatever. <laughs> oh, well, what's wrong with a uh, random phone caller? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So whenever they want to, they you know if uh, they want to talk to Big Shot randomly, you know probably that person didn't do that just uh, to you. Probably other people too. Mm. Wow. I bet it was so like randomly. a classmate or something. I bet it was someone close to you. Maybe I don't know because mm. I didn't have the your number. Your enemies are always close. Oh. See like you, like somebody in front of me. <laughs> I see one right here. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> So he pop. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, so mm, that's a little bit. But anything happened? What no, did you do? I, I just or? blocked it. I, then I realized that it was like it wasn't just like a, a missed call. Uh, so then I blocked it. So if I block it, I don't know if they call me back or not. Okay, mm. so uh, that was a little bit lighter situation mm-hmm. than yeah, our here is like it's different because this is the, crazy I know, stuff like going on. Threatening letter. That's a different. Anyways, Leah, have you ever experienced? Um. Well, I've had phone calls phone call I believe you yeah I believe you (laughs) phone call um, things too Um, so this happened for about a six month span Mm -hmm. and they would call like I don't know it it wouldn't even have a number it just said it just said unknown number oh I pick up and it would be like breathing Mm -hmm. like (gasps) like, what yeah but like 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 they're (laughs) like they just ran Mm-hmm. And they're tired from running, and, and I would hang up. I'm like, "What is this?" I thought it was my friend. So sometimes, oh, I'd so pick you up. were actually breathing at the same time too. <laughs> well, I'm not gonna stop breathing. I gotta breathe. I'm not gonna oh, be like, "Hold what? on, hold on." Oh my god! Hold okay, on, so, let me breathe. Let me breathe. The person on the phone is trying to stalk you. Was breathing, just doing, you know, that weird breathing sound. Like weird breathing, and I was and like, "Are you, you okay?" Like at first, but you were running too. So probably you were breathing out too. No, I was. I thought they were running. Oh. I, I thought okay. like it sounded like they just got done with running and they they were like catching their breath. Mm. I'm like, what, what is this? So I thought it was my friends playing pranks on me because we used to play pranks on each other all the time. Uh-huh. Okay. But it started getting creepy. I would like yell and be like, seriously, don't do this. And they uh-huh. keep doing it over and over and start laughing. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, that's so scary. It's so creepy. Mm-hmm. So I changed my number. That's why actually. Oh, oh. what? But this is like more this scary. So like, honestly, uh, 
just call the cops. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if he's a if classmate he's, or whatever. Exactly. Like, you need to call the cops because this is not healthy. This is not. And uh. this guy obviously doesn't know like the seriousness to yeah. the situation. He might think it's a joke, like prank. It's funny yeah, to yeah, him. Yeah. It's not. But funny. it's, not, it's funny. not funny. But he doesn't know that. So you know, if you call the cops, you know. Or an older sibling. Like, my sister used to tell me when... This is a little different, but people would bully her. And, like, she'd be like, I'm going to tell, like, or, you know. And they'd be like, no, like, oh, I'm sorry, da da da, da. Mm -hmm. but They would keep doing it. So one day, mm -hmm. I went to the school. And I was like, you, you, you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm serious. I hear everything. I know everything oh. you've ever said to her. I was like, I read all the messages that you sent her. Oh, yeah. Ew, I was swagging that day. I was like, <laughs> yes, Leah. You go, girl. Because <laughs> I was kind of scared. Younger kids are so scary. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, my goodness. I was trying to act all tough. I was like, don't do that. And, not, and they mean, never did it. I mean, if you have a brother or sister, like, we mm -hmm. all do that. When I was in mm -hmm. high school, too, my brother was in elementary school. And a um, middle school kid used to bother him, like, mm -hmm. like making stuff, whatever. So my brother came to him, like, yo, yo, brother, like, there's this one kid is from the middle school. He's older than me, so I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, is that it is? Okay, I'll go. I went there. Right, right? exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, near Diana, if you have a sibling, mm -hmm. definitely. And you really have to end this thing. Yeah, really. Yes. This is These this situations is can escalate. Because, yeah. you know, there's so many things on the news about bullying these days. Especially and, in the States, it's so, so bad. Yeah. And you need to tell someone or else it'll get very, very serious. And I mm. can't see that this guy's having fun. Yeah. It's not it's not funny. Straight up, call the cops. Like, mm. that's all. And the guy will, he, he will know that he's doing something wrong now. Yes. Why don't you talk to the principal of a school first and then... Oh, that's a good idea yeah, too, yeah. And say, like, I really am bothered. Mm. It's not like bothered, it's like threatening. Right. And uh, this, this happened and this classmate, it's him. Definitely, mm -hmm. you know, glad to know that you know who exactly it is, uh, it is and um, make sure to take uh, the principal can rule it out mm -hmm. because certain rules, there's a school rules too, mm -hmm. yeah. and probably they will come up with a better result or a better idea. Mm -hmm. Just personally calling a cop, if you're at home, then, you know, uh, that's a different story. That's also a good idea, too. But uh, at school, if uh, this guy, you know, when you just, like, call the cops at home, then this guy, you never know what's what's going to do at school, too. True. Mm. So you kind of have to hmm, protect would, yourself. Or tell your parents. Tell, tell your parents will do number one thing, of course. Yeah, tell your parents mm. and then let your parents go talk to the principal if you're too scared to talk to the principal. Because mm -hmm. I think a lot of kids, even if they get bullied or, you know, something's going on. It's hard to tell. The reason they don't tell yeah. is because they feel like they, they'll become tattletale. Mm -hmm. True. And then people True. will make fun of them and say, I knew you were going to tell. Uh -huh. mm. So uh -huh. I think that's the difficult part. Oh, but this is a different situation. Yes. I think this is a very What's serious wrong with situation. This guy? I know. Mm -mm. Uh, anyways, um, and uh, if you can help me, please uh, tell me how to talk with them. Mm, that I don't nah. understand. You don't. Too. Talk. You, you don't. You don't, you don't, you don't do need that. to talk mm. to him. You don't need to talk to him. That's wrong. That's like a no go. Right. That's a like a big no no. Mm. Like yeah. asking him to tell me why he did that. Do you think that's necessary? No, it doesn't matter Cause, why cause he did even, it. Even if you go ask him, he will not tell you. Yeah, he'll just be like, huh, huh, yeah, huh, whatever. Oh, you know? I don't Boys like at that, that age. Yeah. Yeah. So just. Call the cops or like like Stephanie said, go to the school board, uh, and talk to the director, principal, mm -hmm. whoever, who can actually control the right. situation. Right. And if you're too scared of that, uh, make sure to get the support from your parents True. because they're always there for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, before it escalates, before it gets bigger, I think you really have to stop right yes. now. True. Okay, Nurdiana from Malaysia, thank you very much for sharing that message with us tonight. Okay, so it is our time to wrap of our segment corner thank you very much once more big shot and mm. leah and this song the next song that we are going to play this is a dedication to that guy mm. anyways mm -hmm. we are going to listen to this track trigger long guilty yes. by yes. dynamic duo <laughs> and i will see you to next week thank you bye Call guys bye bye